Oh, you know, we have a lot of mosquitoes in the beautiful state of Florida. It just happens. But just in the last week, the State Department of Health issued an alert because of four cases of malaria in Sarasota County. So leaders say this does not mean there will be a widespread outbreak, but they are urging people to take precautions. In fact, Volusia County Mosquito Control says there have been there has been a 30 percent increase of mosquitoes found in containers around homes and with Fourth of July celebrations already getting started. I went out to see what you can do to keep your family safe. With summer well underway, families gather at Dartmouth Park in Orlando. What you might not see are the relentless mosquitoes. It's Florida, and especially when it's like raining after rain, they come out in full force. We definitely use bug spray because otherwise he gets bit up really quickly. Bug spray is nothing new, but with so many products on the market, what is the safest and most effective choice? Environmental Program Manager of Volusia County Mosquito Control, Miranda Tressler, recommends people use an EPA approved repellent. So you want to look for like the active ingredients um, like DEET is one of them. There's also some other ones. Oil of lemon eucalyptus is another one. The American Academy of Pediatrics says anyone over two months old can use DEET based repellents with up to 30% concentration. So the label direction on that product will tell you how to use it appropriately so that it doesn't cause any harm. Uh, read the directions. Sometimes they say to only apply in certain areas or put it on your hands and then apply it on your face. Sometimes there's restrictions on the ages for the repellents, but definitely make sure you're reading the instructions. Keep in mind, most DEET repellents start out with a concentration of at least 5%, which will last about 90 minutes. So pick a spray that matches your outdoor activity. Another major part of mosquito protection starts at home. Walk around your yard and think um, just kind of outside the box, take a step back and look at anything that might hold a small amount of water. Those breeding grounds are often hidden in bromeliads, old tires, kiddie pools, even your gutters. If the water doesn't flow all the way out, these little rivets in here will actually hold enough water to produce mosquitoes. And they're just coming from the rainwater from your gutters and then getting stuck in these. Um, and they're really hard to see and really hard to find. So like other local agencies, Volusia County Mosquito Control does not spray on a schedule. It decides where to treat areas based on surveillance data, including traps and whether a mosquito-borne disease has been detected. If you notice a lot of mosquitoes near your house, you can always contact your local mosquito control for spraying. That is something I have done, and it has worked. Oh. So I recommend that. Yes. Very interesting. Yes. So we have the heat. We have the mosquitoes. This is not our time of year. No, something as small <laughs> as a bottle cap, they can breed in that if there's water in it. They're how, everywhere. How are you going to not have a bottle cap of right? water somewhere this time of year?